maybe it's time for new glasses. Well, there comes a time when you just got to get glasses, and now's that time. If you're anything like my wife and I, you put it off until you can't see anymore, yeah? <laughs> you put it off until your glasses are so scratched up or until things are blurry. And the reason for that is because glasses are so expensive. I think these glasses here were between three and four hundred dollars and hers the same. Can't afford to do that every year, so we just wait. I went into the optometrist to get my eyes checked couple weeks ago and I asked them uh, about lenses and just basic lenses these are progressives and just the basic lenses were hundred and seventy four dollars without any frames or or any add-ons at all like a like a hard coating or something like that so what we decided to do was to get our glasses online and we went to Zenny so what we're gonna do is open these up and uh, see how they came out and all we had to do was give them our current prescription and then careful measurements. And we'll talk a little bit about the measurements here. So we're going to do an unboxing here. I have no idea what to expect here. I'm just hoping it turns out good. My astigmatism changed from this, these, this pair of glasses to this pair of glasses. So I'm expecting these to make my head go a little wonky at first. But maybe no more than usual. <laughs> Let's do yours first. Okay. Right. Wow. Okay. plastic case clip-on sunglasses on Zenny the clip-ons here are uh, oh th three to five dollars extra depending on what glasses you get we'll look at those in a minute see there's no bill in here oh yeah no nope. okay I, I think I remember can you see me <laughs> <laughs> yeah I still see you because <laughs> I can see you <laughs> well, what about the fit though um, we got to adjust we have to adjust the nose pads it might be yeah the nose pads really need adjusting yeah, yeah. But other than that... What about the prescription? Well, I'm not going dizzy. Well, those are big letters. <laughs> Here's some littler letters over here. How you doing there? I'm so far, so good. All right. Well, here's the deal. Her glasses were about 60 or $70. The lenses were... I think 29 something plus the price of her frames and I think four dollars and fifty cents shipping oh yeah and there's a lot of frames you can choose from these are spring um, spring loaded frames so you know I didn't know they'd be pink on the sides I mean, a little pink on the sides but for that price you can order another pair whatever color you want here not bad how they look? They look nice. <laughs> Can you see me? <laughs> I'll open mine up. Let me put these on. And same thing as hers. There's a little piece of cardboard in there for stiffness. I didn't get the extra clip-ons. I'm a little nervous about mine because of my astigmatism uh, thing. So we'll just have to see. I didn't order the the sunglasses clip-ons. I probably should have, but I already have prescription sunglasses that are still working for me. So, 
Okay, do I look incognito? Hey, you look pretty cool. <laughs> and they fit perfectly. That's all right. Well, here we go. Yeah, it's got an eyeglass cleaning cloth. Are yours pink too? No, I didn't get the pink ones. Okay. Mine are all black. My frames were $24.95. I got impact resistant lenses because I because of working in the shop and around tools all the time. So I paid $55 for my lenses. But uh, with the discount and everything and the shipping, I think I paid $65 for these. Well, here we go. Yeah, the stigmatism thing is a little weird, but... Let me see. I actually see clearly through... If I close one eye and close the other eye, I see perfectly clearly. It's going to take a few minutes for this to... Oh, it's starting to come in now, starting to adjust. Yeah, perfectly clear. Yeah, it's not... Yeah. Yeah, now it's coming in for me. Let me see. What do you look like? How do I look? You recognize me? No. <laughs> well, one thing you need to do when you order from Zenny is you got to give them uh, some measurements. And the most important measurement is your pupillary distance. And that's the distance from one pupil to the other. And you need to know that especially for progressive lenses. And I, I got a little thing I show, I'll, I'll show you on the video here about the difference between progressives and regular lenses. The, so you need that pupillary distance, distance. Now you can measure that yourself. Zenny will tell you how and you can do that online. So this is my fancy artwork. The importance of knowing your pupillary distance is in case you wear progressive lenses. Because with progressives your mid-range is located here in the center of this narrow hourglass. You actually, this is your far range up at the top, and this is your reading lens back down in here, and it's a gradual change from far to near. This is your mid-range right here, and your pupil of your eye has to be centered right in the middle of this. So that's why when you get your eyes examined, at the optometrist, it's important to find out your pupillary distance, or there's ways you can measure it yourself. And on, on Zenni Optical, they uh, they tell you how to how to measure pupillary distance. See, in the old days, we wore trifocals if we needed help with our mid range, and this is where the head bobbing bobbing comes in, where you 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 bob your head to look through the different areas of your glasses. And they still make these, but uh, I've worn progressives for twenty some odd years and. I absolutely love them. So that's the importance of knowing. This is why knowing your pupillary distance is important. It's because of this mid-range right here and your eye needing to be centered in these two areas. The other thing is um, you need to know your distance across the bridge right here. And that is marked inside the glasses here. You want to make sure that the lenses aren't touching the bridge of your nose because you want to be able to move them back and forth a little bit by adjusting the nose pads to get them centered up correctly. So if you look with a magnifying glass right inside the bridge, it'll give you your, the, the width of the bridge. It'll be preceded by one number, which is the width of the lens, and then there'll be a dash or something, and then there'll be the other number, which is the width of the bridge. Like these, I don't remember exactly, but I think they say something like 5320 or something. 53 would be how many millimeters wide the lens is, and the 20 would be how many millimeters wide this bridge is. And if you're comfortable with the glasses that you currently have, if you put them on and you're satisfied with how they fit, side to side here, then that combination of bridge and, and lens width is what you're going to want on your new frames. The other thing is the temple. Inside the, the bow here is a measurement. And it's also in millimeters. It'll be like 135 or 143 or something like that. And that's the measurement of the bow. So with your current glasses that you now have, if you're satisfied with how they fit behind your ears, 
then go ahead and get and order the same bow length. And that's all you really need to know. On Zenny, they're going to ask you what shape lens you want. They're going to give you a variety of frames to choose from. So uh, it's a lot of fun just to go in and shop around. And, uh, and for the price, you can't go wrong. And Zenny absolutely guarantees these, so uh, according to their website. But we're, we're doing pretty good here. So anyways, that's how you, that's how you order them.